This is Cassie and Steve from This One With Cars, and it's the first week in October, and we are going down to the local British Car Club's very last cruise of the year. So we're going to meet up with a bunch of other cars. We're going to have a little drive, and then they have a catered dinner for us tonight. Uh, some of the local car members do have some pretty neat cars. You never know what is going to show up. So we'll go down there and see what everyone brought. We're starting the cruise now. We're going real slow, letting everyone catch up. We're gonna go over to Ledges State Park, which is a really neat place to cruise down through. It's a little canyon. State Park. We made it back from the park. We actually got here before everyone else did. I had to go uh, to a little town near the park and refuel. Uh, the Tiger's a bit faster than those other cars, so I ended up beating them back here. Let's go look around a little bit before they get here.
It's an old 57 Buick that's owned by the guy who owns the property here. The Sunbeam Tiger that I drove. Got a TR6 in the back there. The rubber bumper MGB. Jaguar XJ6. This is also owned by the guy who owns the house that we're at. Have a beautifully restored MGA. I'm not sure why this Morgan was trailered here. Obviously, this is a modern Morgan with the S and S engine. No reason you couldn't drive this. These cars you could actually drive every single day. This is so far from the way the original Morgan three wheelers were. Several modern minis here, but here's a 1972 Spitfire. We have an MGB, another gorgeous MGA. You can see that the grill is different on this one. That's a differentiation between the early and late MGAs. Behind that is some sort of kit car meant to look like an MGTD. Not exactly sure what kit this is. The wire wheel wheel covers give it away from quite a distance. The hood doesn't open like a TD, it opens like a TF where only this top portion opens up. On a TD, this lower section opens up as well. Here's the dashboard. From behind, the exhaust gives it away that this must be Volkswagen powered. Back here, yet another MGA. All the MGAs here are just gorgeous. Look at this example. I'm not always a fan of chrome wire wheels, but they really work on this car. We've got a Bentley behind that. Another MGB. Here we've got a Jag XJS. Next to it, an MGB that's been fitted with a Rover V8. Beautiful Jaguar XK120 Coupe. And then next to the Jaguar, a Triumph TR6. Well, we had a lot of fun today. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.